Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted this Tenny here. Obviously, you're on my Facebook wall. So, um, I used, might have seen my post earlier about today being my uh, Luna Girl's birthday. And I don't know if I can, if you can see her. She can, that's, that's Luna. <laughs> so, she is turned nine. Uh, I almost said nine o'clock. She turned nine today. And so, it's a tradition in our house. We make, we celebrate our dog's birthdays. Um, just like Gary and I celebrate our birthdays. So, oops, sorry about that. Um, as you can tell, this is my first time doing a live video with um, where it's going to be involved like some kind of cooking. So, first of all, I'm going to apologize now for my technology being a little. So, okay, so as you can see, I'm, I'm having technology issues. But so we make doggy cupcakes to celebrate our birthdays, they are pet friendly. Um, and they use really just ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. So I'm going to adjust my camera here and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. It really doesn't take very long. So, all right. So uh, things that I use, this is whole wheat flour, uh, baking soda, honey. I use olive oil. The original recipe actually called for canola oil, but I prefer olive because it's healthier. Um, applesauce, um, one egg, and then I will later be using plain Greek yogurt and all natural peanut butter. And I like this stuff because it's just like peanuts, maybe a little bit of, of oil, but and a little bit of salt, but there's no added sugars, no artificial flavors, nothing like that. That's the stuff that I eat. So that's the stuff that my dogs, they eat a lot of like little scraps and stuff from our table. So I try to keep them pretty healthy too. So um, I've already got my oven heated to 350 degrees. Uh, this particular recipe actually makes six. So since I have four dogs, um, each dog will get one and a half cupcakes. Uh, and then the birthday dog, in this case Luna, will actually get a little special something, some kind of treat extra on top of her cupcake. So, um, okay, so first thing that you're gonna do is get your flour. Let me set this aside here. Okay, and you can use brown rice flour. I don't have that on hand, so I use wheat flour. And you'll need a half a cup of that. And I'll be honest, I keep referring to my recipe because I only do this four times a year, so I don't really have it memorized. But Lucky's birthday's in a couple weeks, so I'll be doing it again. Um, okay, so half a cup of flour, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure it's the baking powder, not baking soda. Teaspoon of that. Okay, set those aside. Okay, uh, and then you're probably gonna hear my dogs bark because Gary's on the way home and they bark at everything. So if that happens, sorry, but I live with dogs. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do the oil next. And the oil is going to be a third of a cup. So you wanna make sure that you use a liquid uh, measurement. There is a difference between liquid and dry. So a third of a cup of that. And honestly, if I was one of those professional cooking shows, I'd have all this stuff like pre-measured and then you add the this and the, I'm not that. So, okay. So oil next. And then the applesauce. And you want a third a cup of the applesauce too. These actually, these little um, portioned out containers are half a cup. So I guess you could eat whatever's left over. Which won't be much, I'll be honest. Okay, so half a cup, or sorry, third of a cup of the applesauce. And then honey, honey, honey. Okay, and then you want um, two tablespoons of the honey. And this just gives it some extra sweetness for the dogs. Um, I've actually tasted this recipe before because obviously these are all products made for human consumption too. And so you can try it. They're not the sweetest. By the time they bake out, it's not the sweetest cupcake, but it doesn't taste terrible. I mean, if you like wheat flour, which I happen to, so. Okay, two tablespoons of the honey. And then I like to set stuff aside as I'm done with it. And then for this last part, let that honey kind of drip out. Oh. 
and yes, I did lick the spoon, but my dogs are going to do it, so are going to eat it, so they don't care. And then one egg. So, and then we're going to mix this up really well. And it really doesn't take much. You can, like I'm using a, a handheld whisk. You could certainly use a um, um, electric blender, speeder mixer thing if you wanted to. Again, not professional. That's why I'm not using technical terms. So get that nice and mixed up. Really doesn't take much. Just make sure all the dried flour is all mixed up and then it'll look something like that. Pretty simple. Okay. And then because there's already, uh, you know, quite a bit of oil in this, you won't have to really pre-spray your uh, muffin pan. And you can, if you'd like to, you can also use uh, muffin liners if you'd like to. Um, since I don't have muffin liners, that's the only thing is I kind of still spray um, just because I want to make sure it doesn't stick because it's a metal pan. So if you have liners, use cupcake liners. I don't, so I'm going to get my spray. And if you're wondering, this is, uh, this is actually a coconut oil spray. I don't know if you can see that. Um, coconut oil is okay for dogs too. And I mean, I've used regular too and it hasn't, it hasn't hurt them. So in case you were wondering. Okay. And then I just go through and evenly divide the batter between all six cups. Um, or the other option you could do is to make four really big cups, which I might do that. So I see a, su a few of you are joined or are watching, which I appreciate. I'm just curious how many of you that are watching uh, make cupcakes or make stuff, you know, homemade treats for your dog or celebrate their birthdays or their pets, maybe not just dogs, birds, cats too. Um, I would love to know, I, I, you know, people call us weird, but there are kids and I'm sure a lot of you out there follow me because you feel the same way. So I would love to hear what sort of homemade treats you guys might make or what kind of celebrations you might do for your dogs or your pets, your cats, anything like that. Um, I haven't ever tried like birthday hats. <laughs> I'm not sure how my dogs would feel about that, but who knows, maybe we will. And if you stay tuned later, I'll probably do another live video so you guys can actually see when we give the dogs their treats. I'll be honest though, when we do that, it will be a short video because, except for the little dogs, those big dogs will gulp their, their cupcakes right down. So it takes them longer. After whoever the birthday dog is, after we are done, they get to um, lick the birthday bowl, which you'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see that or not. So, you, I, you, like I said, it makes six if you want smaller, thinner cupcakes. Since I got four dogs this time, I'm just going to do four larger cupcakes. You're going to stick that in the oven for, um, well, you want to make sure it gets golden brown and then use a toothpick to stick it through to make sure that it's done. Um, but otherwise, you will put it on 350 and you will bake for 10 to 12 minutes. So just make sure you test it with a fork or a toothpick to make sure it's not gooey in the middle. So let me get these in there and then I'll show you how to make the frosting. Okay. Got my timer set. All right, so while that's going, the next thing we're gonna do is make the frosting for the cupcakes. So I use plain Greek, this happens to be non-fat yogurt, but regular like whole milk or skim milk Greek yogurt. Um, is fine too. And I prefer Greek because it's healthier, not just for humans, but also for your pets because it goes through a different process um, in terms of when it's strained and all of that. And so when that happens, it doesn't get all of the added sugars and added chemicals that regular like yo plate yogurt has. Um, that's why I like Greek in general. So, and it doesn't really have, it's got more of a sour taste. And so with dogs, it's not you know, as big a deal. And then of course, dogs love peanut butter, so. Okay, so for the frosting, it doesn't take a whole lot. So we're gonna do, let me rinse off my tablespoon. Okay, so it's going to be three tablespoons of yogurt. 
and I've found that this actually makes a lot more than you really need. But like I said, part of the fun is also letting your dogs um, lick the bowl. And we let our dogs take turns on that. So, And they really like it. You know, it could honestly be their favorite part of the whole thing. I couldn't tell you. Okay, so three tablespoons of yogurt and then a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter. And then you're just going to mix that up and while your cupcakes are baking and then cooling you can just let this sit in the fridge um, and actually this frosting mix if you will um, will last in your fridge for probably three or four days but you know like i said if you do your dogs like i do it doesn't last past the half an hour so and that's pretty much it so those are going to finish baking and then I'm going to let them cool and then I'm going to have this yogurt set up in the fridge for when the, the cupcakes are ready and then you frost them generously and um, and then yeah, you can celebrate their birthday. You can For me, like I said, whenever it's the birthday kid, the birthday dog, I throw in an extra couple of treats on top of their cupcake um, and they love it and we love we love it too. So like I said, stay tuned a little while later. We'll probably do a live video so you can see what the finished cupcakes look like and then see our dogs in their very quick little birthday party um, enjoying their cupcakes and then licking the, the bowl with the leftover frosting. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do the doggy cupcakes. And it takes all of that together as far as like from prep to finish is probably 15 minutes the longest time really is going to let be is going that's going to take is to let the cupcakes cool so um i don't know if i i think i answered that for you nabeth uh greek yogurt plain greek yogurt um i wouldn't start getting into flavors because then you start getting into artificial flavorings and other chemicals sweeteners all that kind of stuff um and since it's not really great for people i certainly wouldn't suggest giving it to your dog um Griselda, good, I'm glad, I hope this is helpful. It's pretty. It's a pretty easy recipe and dogs really like it. Um, and Melissa, yes, Greek yogurt. I think you're probably answering Nabeth, so. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anytime I do stuff like this, it just kind of dawned on me today that hey, I might as well do a video because other people might enjoy this kind of stuff too. I love doing stuff for dogs as you, if you've been following me long enough, you well know that. So um, if I come up with other ideas, I will. I will do another video. So, and I have done other treats too, biscuits and stuff like that, homemade stuff. So that's pretty much it. If you have questions or you want to know other things or have other ideas, let me know. Cause I, you know, you all know that I try to stay healthy. I try to keep my pets healthy too. Although I'll be honest, buddy's our oldest dog. He's a little overweight. We're trying to work on that. <laughs> so, okay. All right. I hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for the birthday party later. Cause that's a lot of fun. It's fast, but it'll be fun. So when that's ready to go and Gary gets back home, um, we'll go. So, all right. Thanks everybody for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys later.